Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to talk to you about a new process that we're going to be doing on the code creation team. So what we're going to start doing is having async weekly updates um, on the issues that we have assigned to us that we're working on for this milestone. Um, basically, uh, starting next week, we're going to um, by Wednesday each week, post a status update on all of your assigned issues. Um, there's a simple template that I added to the handbook. Uh, it basically just has what is the current status, what are the next steps, are there any blockers, and will it ship this milestone or not? And then just take me and Jordan and anyone else that you're collaborating on. Uh, so the reason we're doing this is really to increase transparency and efficiency. Um, Team members have raised concerns to me uh, over a lack of visibility um, into what other people are working on. This is coming from the engagement survey, one-on-one -on -one feedback, skip level feedback. I've heard this a number of times. So um, I think this will be a big help in that area. Also, I, as an engineering manager, I just need a better way to uh, keep track of progress and identify blockers early. Um, as the team, is working on lots of different projects and um, doing a lot of great work. It's hard, getting hard for me to kind of keep it all in my mind and keep track of everything and what everyone's working on. Um, so I think there's a lot of big benefits to this. There's clear communication. Um, everyone will know what's going on. We hopefully will detect problems earlier. Um, reduced meeting load. I think we won't need meetings where we just talk about the status of something. Um, including our one-on-one -on -one times where instead of you telling me what you've worked on, I'll be able to just find that in the issue and then we can spend that that valuable time on, on other topics. Um, I think it will create some natural accountability on the work we're doing and create a record of, of the history of our work. So I think that's great too. Um, and it ties in very well to a lot of our GitLab values more transparent things going to be more visible by default stakeholders will all have access to the current status um, for efficiency i mean it's a boring solution but it's simple and it's effective and it creates kind of a self-managed process there's collaboration benefits drive for results um, it's a bias for action you know we're going to keep that focus on delivering results for customers and then iteration it you know i'm hoping it'll allow for quick course correction we'll be able to figure things out very quickly if if anything needs help or um, there's just these weekly opportunities for feedback um, now this isn't something i came up with this is something that the editor extensions team has been doing uh, with a lot of success over the past months. Um, so I want to bring in Maverick now to talk a little bit more about um, how that team is using this uh, process and how it's been working. All right, Maverick, thank you for taking some time today to talk about the weekly async updates. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to get kind of some background and what motivated you to start having your team do these weekly updates? I think the motivation was simply because the team is large and I want to have a bird's eye view on what they're working on without requiring it to be something that needs to be synced. So what we've done on our team is we created um, kind of like a little formula, current status, next steps, whether something is going to make it through a milestone and scope reduction opportunities. We ask for people to do that on a weekly basis so that we have more of an understanding of what and where we might need to make tweaks and whether we're gonna hit specific bits this milestone. Um, in terms of ICs, we did this for three reasons. One, it aligns with manager of one. Um, that's something that we do here. And it provides kind of a journey pattern for the engineer. They can kind of see what they've been working on and the progress that's been made in one spot. The next thing is single point of failure. We don't want single points of failure. 
And sometimes people get sick. Sometimes we have to reprioritize and give it to a different engineer. And the best thing that you can have is weekly async updates to walk someone else through the journey and the pitfalls of that bit. And the last one is just transparency. Um, it's a great way for other EMs and people who are, might be higher than us to kind of understand the journey of that specific issue or epic. I hope that answers. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, how, uh, how do these updates kind of, how have they helped you support the team? Well, they help me support the team because I can home in on things that they're struggling with immediately. I can also see patterns across the team, whether it be MR reviews being slowed down or architectural things that are happening across our platform that are constantly persisting because I'm seeing them in the current status updates. And the last reason is it frees up the one-to-one -one time for us to focus clearly on areas that they're stuck on. And it gives us time to talk about things outside of giving me an update. So I'm informed before my one-to-one. -one. I know exactly what the challenges may be because it's there. And again, it gives me a bird's eye view on what's happening on the ground so I can look for patterns and ways to unblock the team overall. Hope that answers, Matt. Yeah, that's great. That's some of the, um, I've gotten a lot of feedback from my team kind of on those same lines of just improving the transparency across the team, just from yeah. individuals. And um, I think what you just said, that really helps with that too, that kind of really builds on that. Um, do you happen to have a specific example of when these updates kind of helped catch an issue early or maybe led to better collaboration among the team? Yes. Um, so an, an example of that would be, um, I'll give you an example from us. We were building the quick chat feature for two of our editor extensions. And not to go into too much detail, but we started hitting certain roadblocks with implementing the bit in one of our extensions. And believe it or not, those async updates because we were transparent, gave a, a kind of a, a heads up to the ed other editor extension that these may be roadblocks that you're hitting. And it actually helped us avoid those roadblocks because the async updates really illustrated current status, next steps, and roadblocks. So that's a good example of it helping um, in ways that you don't even think that it will help. It helped a team avoid bits because a pattern was there that um, highlighted the journey. Hope that helps. Yeah, that's great. That's uh, super exciting for me to <laughs> have that collaboration and to um, keep the team kind of going and working together so closely. Um, that's great. Um, I'm really looking forward to this um, as a manager for all the reasons you just stated. Um, have your people on your team reported kind of benefits that they're seeing from doing these updates outside of, you know, the stuff that I want to see as a manager? Yes. What we're, what the, the feedback that I've received is that it helps with staying focused, uh, knowing, taking a moment to just say, okay, this is the current status. Here are next steps. It's kind of a roadmap on what they'll be doing to get it to the next step next week or next bit. And also um, ways to make things smaller, meaning issues smaller. What I'm finding is that the team is using this to, again, manage their own time, knowing, okay, what's possible for the next step. That's really helped us accelerate our ability to deliver features faster. Um, so that's the feedback that I'm receiving from the team. It helps them stay clear on what needs to be done next. Uh, and it allows them to think about ways to improve things going forward. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, I think hoping that the code creation team will also love this. Um, and I like having it in GitLab issues because it's a, a single source of truth to um, 
have you do you also do um other communication styles like stand up updates or uh maybe meet team meetings and how do how do these updates kind of complement or enhance the communication and those other forms of communication we do so every tuesday <laughs> Um, I send a announcements and reminders uh, message to the team. And usually it includes, um, you know, things that are happening across the editor extension suite, but also a reminder to add async updates and any bits that need to be done. So we do this every Tuesday. The reason why I do it this way is because channels can get really noisy. And um, asking for updates from everyone at different times, in many ways I found makes the focus scattered. So we send on Tuesday, announcements and reminders every Tuesday. Wednesdays, we have async updates from everyone on the team so that I'm aware of what's happening. And then on what, Thursdays, we have our weekly sync as a team. So it's a flow of communication that leads to the weekly um, reminders on what needs to be done by pretty much everyone or opportunities to dog food and partner with you to try new features. The next day we do async updates. So everyone is aware of what's happening on all issues that week. And then on Thursday, we talk about those things. We talk about common roadblocks. And that keeps us in rhythm as a team. I hope that answers, Matt. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, that's all the questions I had. Is there anything else that you wanted to uh, yeah. add in about this process? And um, One last yeah. thing. Um, one thing that the team did not like, <laughs> I want to mention the thing that they didn't like, was um, not really knowing the pattern that they should use to provide async updates. And I'd be happy to show you one of the comments, com comment templates that we created. Tristan on my team created this so that it's consistent. Doesn't have to be used by every team. It'll be nuanced for every team, but I can quickly show you what that looks like if you like. Sure, yeah, that'd be great. Give me a second. Okay, so quickly, there is a comment template that everyone can use. And Tristan has literally created a dev check-in comment bit. It automatically fills the bits in. All you have to do is add your information and comment. And we found that this is also a great consistent way for us to get the same information for the team and potentially use that for other things in the future. And that's it. All right. No, that's great. Uh, we'll be copying that very closely for the code creation team. So I appreciate you sharing that. No worries. And let, let us know how it works or even tweaks that you think we can make. We're always open to making it better for sure. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Maverick. Thank you very much. And no yeah, looking forward to it. All right.